So tell us how the reactor works, Tertius. Okay, that's a good question. So um, we need to aerate it, mm -hmm. hence why it's aerobic. All right. And for this composting reaction to be accelerated, we need to give the thermophilic microbes, thermo meaning heat, the thermophilic microbes ideal conditions in terms of moisture content, but also ideal conditions in terms of temperature. So how do we manage the temperature? We have some vacuum tubes here. We use harvest some energy from the sun to heat the water. Mm -hmm. The water is pumped in, a, in this reactor. So the water operates at about 50 degrees to be able to transfer energy to what's inside. So that operates at 40 degrees. So it's quite important why 40 to 42 degrees is important. That's to support the thermophilic microbes. So you don't want the temperature in this reactor to go higher than that because then you have dehydration that takes place uh, of your product. And uh, once it gets dehydrated and the temperature goes up, you will kill your microbes. So you want your microbes to be alive, but you want them to be happy. They want them to have enough moisture uh, in the heat, like we want one or two beers when, it's, when the sun is shining. Nothing different to, uh, to what they, their requirements Yeah, Amazing. Thanks, Nico. Perfect, eh? Bye, donkey. The only constant in life is change. And spending some time here with Tertius from I'm Not Plastic and Food 2050, he is one of the game changers, doing his best to ensure that composting in the future is not only a sustainable one, but one that is accelerated by means of his bespoke system here. Great work, Tertius.